हेलो भिवर्स आई मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड बिफोर यू विद एन इंपोर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ प्लस थ्री सेकेंड सेमिस्टर ऑफ द पेपर नंबर थ्री एंड द टॉपिक इज मोरल राइट्स सो फार एज मोरल राइट्स इज कंसर्न In this video, mainly three aspects of it have been focused. One is the meaning of moral rights. Number two, examples of moral rights, and number three, criticisms of moral rights. So, first of all, take up what is moral right. But before I discuss. what is a moral right i want to intimate my viewers that wherever you are and wherever i am you are my very affectionate affectionate viewers so again i want to inform my viewers that if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe and intimate your friends to subscribe my channel so students of plus 2 first year plus 2 second year plus 3 first year to plus 3 first semester to fourth semester will be at least benefited and a single help to anybody is a great service for the god let us start what is moral right or what are moral rights in the subject political science so far as ruler ruled relationship is concerned a lot of concepts are associated with the ruler ruled relationship among these basic concepts for rural rural relationship rights right is considered as a basic concept but rights are many types like natural rights legal rights and moral rights but among this category of rights moral rights or moral right or moral rights is a very important category of right because it is accorded by or it is given by ethics in one hand and morality on the other hand so what is a moral right in order to be clear about the meaning of moral right a person must be clear about the meaning of natural right and legal right once a person will be clear about the meaning of natural right and legal right then there will not be any problem for him to understand what is a moral right so what is a natural right natural rights mean a claim of human beings beings human beings natural rights mean human beings claim for some rights being human beings it means for human beings some rights are necessary if these rights will not be given human beings cannot lead a life of human beings so natural rights mean some rights claimed by human beings being human beings it means for human beings some 
rights are required by which they can lead the life of human being it is known as the natural right but what is a legal right legal right means those rights legal rights means those rights which are given by the state protected by the state and recognized by the judiciary so legal right means those rights which are given by the state protected by the state and recognized by the judiciary but moral rights are different from natural rights and legal rights so what are moral rights number one moral rights are claims from moral as well as ethical grounds so moral rights are claims from the moral ground and ethical ground or moral rights are being supported by are being supported from moral ground and ethical ground so what is a moral ground moral ground means whenever a person will feel by himself that it is just it is moral ground so moral ground is the internal ground moral ground means whenever a person will feel by himself that this is just and this is unjust so moral rights are being supported by morality morality means internal ground when a person will feel that this is right this is just it is morality so moral rights are being supported by morality which is from himself which is from within himself and it is also supported by the ethical ground ethical ground is a external ground ethical ground is an external ground so whenever a right will be supported by the ethics or external ground may be from religion may be from any institution may be from any group it is known as the ethical ground so moral rights are supported by morality it will be supported by ethics morality means it is internal ground morality means whenever a person will feel by themselves it is just it is known as the morality ground but whenever a person will feel that it is just and it is supported by a religion or group or institution which is the ethical ground or external ground it is known as the moral rights so the first feature of moral rights is that moral right is being supported by morality in one hand internal source ethics from the other hand which is the external source and number two moral rights are recognized by society number three moral rights are not recognized by the state nor it is protected by the state now four violation of moral rights will not lead to punishment finally moral rights are not recognized by judiciary so these are the principles of moral right so again i am spinning again i am telling moral rights mean it is supported by morality in one hand ethics on the other hand it is supported by morality means it is the internal source whenever person will feel from within himself that this is just it is morality and whenever the moral right will be supported by ethics means external ground either from any religious principle or from any institutions or any groups it is known as the 
ethical ground. So moral rights are being supported by morality. Again, it is supported by ethics. Number two, moral rights are recognized by society. Number three, it is not recognized by the state, nor it is protected by the state. Violation of moral rights will not lead to punishment. Finally, moral rights are not recognized by the judiciary. So we are clear, what is a moral right? Or what are moral rights? How they are different from natural rights? How they are different from the legal rights? Now we'll discuss, what are the, now we'll discuss, what are the examples of moral rights? What are the examples of moral rights? The first example of moral right is that parents claim for care from their children. The first example of moral right is that parents claim to give them care from their children. If children will not give them care, if children will not care them, no action will be taken against children. So, first example of moral right is that parents claim before children that they should be given better care. But if children will not give better care, no action will be taken against them. It is a moral right. Number two, elders claim for respect from youngers. Elders claim respect from youngers. Elders, aged persons claim respect from youngers. If youngers will not give them respect, no action will be taken against youngers. It is moral right. It is supported by morality. It is supported by ethics. Number three, children claim for good care and education from their parents. Children claim good care and education from their parents. If parents will be unable to provide them good education or care, then no action will be taken, action cannot be taken against parents. It is a moral, moral right. Number four, claims of good behavior and manner from neighbors. Claims of good behavior and manner from neighbors. If, if neighbors will not give good behavior and manner, action cannot be taken against them. It is a moral right. Five, fifth, teachers claim good manner from students. Teachers claim good manner from Students, if students will not give them good manner, action cannot be taken against them. But children claim, but teachers claim good behavior from students. It is supported by morality, it is supported by ethics. Then students claim for affectionate, affectionate behavior from teachers. Stu students claim to give them affectionate behavior by teachers. If teachers will not give them, no action will be taken against them. It is a moral right. It is supported by morality and ethics. Brothers and sisters claim good behaviors from one another. Brothers and sisters and family claim good behaviors with one another. If brother and sister will not give good behaviors to one another, no action will be taken against them. It is moral right. Then, employers in an organization claim affectionate behaviors. Employees in an organization claim affectionate behavior from the employers and vice versa. In an organization, employees may claim good behaviors from the employers again employers claim good behaviors from the employees if employer will not give them if employer will not give good behavior to employees action will not be taken against the employer if empl if employees will not give good behavior to the employer then action will not be taken against the employees. So these are moral uh, examples of moral rights. So we are clear what is uh, what are moral rights, what are the examples of moral rights. Then there are some 
criticism some moral rights. First criticism. Some critics view that rights are only given by state. Some critics view that rights are only given by the state. But moral rights are not given by the state. So moral rights are not rights in the true sense of the term. Number two, some critics view that moral rights are not some critics view that moral rights are valueless because its violation will not lead to punishment. Some critics view that moral rights are valueless because its violation will not lead to punishment. Anybody can violate. So it is valueless according to critics. Finally, some critics view that Moral rights are valueless because these rights are not protected. Some critics view that moral rights are valueless because they are not protected. Unless rights will be protected, rights will not have value. So, viewers, in this video we have discussed what is the meaning of moral right, how it is different from legal right and how it is different from the natural right. What are the examples of moral rights and what are the criticisms of moral rights? I request my viewers that in this video you will get benefit in two ways. Either you observe the whiteboard, write down your notes, or if you are unable to observe the whiteboard, you can listen me carefully so that you will be able to write notes. Thank you, viewers. I request to make best use of this video. Give your comment. Thank you. Goodbye to all.